Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel, JB Tech. As promised, this is a review of the Dell Thunderbolt dock. Okay, so you might see on my previous review, I've done a review of the Type-C dock. So how is Thunderbolt and Type-C different? So, as you can see, this is a deeper unit and it's wider. Now, of course, there's more technology going on in here. So, this can drive 40 gigabits per second throughput and can support two 4K monitors. So this is higher end for maybe people doing development work, need to send a lot of data over the system, or, or it's just a really powerful system that they're using, maybe you know, an Alienware or something of that kind of ilk where they're, they're pushing performance, maybe doing a bit of gaming you know, down the line. You know, I wouldn't say gaming was there on, <coughs> on docking this way necessarily. So just like USB Type-C, it's got the same cable connection that goes into the dock. And we've got similar connectivity ports on here as the type C. There's a couple of extra ones on here because obviously it can draw more, uh, drive more performance. Um, like the type C dock, the power supply again is bigger and chunkier. It's obviously a laptop based power supply. So with these devices, it's 180 watt or 240 watt are the options. So again, depending on what you're connecting, what you need to charge, and what you need to uh, to do with the dock depends on whether you need 180 or um, 240 watt versions. So <clears throat> if we have a look at it, as I mentioned, same connection, bi-directional, identical to the USB Type-C. So let's have a look at the unit itself. So again, very similar, the Dell Black. And again, ports you got on the front, or we'll call the front, a headphone port, two USB 3s, activity light, we spin it round. Kensington lock on the back. So we've got display port, mini display, sorry, v, uh, HDMI, mini display port, display port. So the full size display port is new. That's not on the um, Type C dock. Then we've got two um, USB 2s, gig Ethernet, USB 3, and again, what is not on the Type C dock is another USB, that's a USB Type C connection actually on the back. So you could connect to the USB Type technology into it line out and then the power for it so again you know very similar in what it does but the performance difference is massive for getting the power on and off button there so as I mentioned to USB type C currently is 5 gigabits per second this is 40 gig per second so you can put two, two nice juicy 4k monitors connected to that just like the um, type C dark you know you have got a external power supply um, depending on your needs, your requirements, um, there's a 180 watt or a 240 watt version. So it depends on how much performance you're trying to drive, what you're trying to do with the dock as to whether you need 180 or 240. So typical things that would connect into this um, that need the high performance like the precision workstations, as I mentioned before, um, and also things like XPS 15. So something where you're going to be doing something graphical, maybe transferring large files over here, needing to drive multiple screens of you know 2k or, or you know 4k so developers um potentially gaming um i've not really used this kind of connectivity for gaming so that of a high performance laptop but it, it kind of gives you an idea where this sits compared to the uh the, what we call the type c dock so what i'm going to do like i did before is i'm going to connect this up to um the monitor um keyboard mouse hard drive and just show you how it works on a um a standard kind of a tablet and laptop type device um, portability wise it's still more portable than the e-dock you know taking that about and also say the tablet productivity dock is a bit larger and a bit more cumbersome than the type c dock however this would be general would generally more stay on your desk because it'd be someone like i said like a developer or someone who's at high throughput who's um desk base or maybe actually looking on the on the screen of the uh, mobile precision workstation so um you could go in your bag and you could take it around the only issue there is you know you've got quite a uh, a large estate to uh, to take around with you uh, one thing I, I don't think i mentioned is if this cable was too long or too short again you can uh, open that and change the cable out because uh, it is just a generic cable. So now, as I mentioned before, I'm now going to connect up and just uh, just give you a demonstration. Right. So the key thing here is you need to identify that you've got Thunderbolt supported devices. 
Um, any of the data sheets on any of the Dell kit tells you if it um, <coughs> supports Thunderbolt connectivity. Um, something like the Latitude 11, although it's got <coughs> the connection for USB Type-C, this would only be able to charge from this. So not everything can display and take advantage of the peripherals, okay? So <coughs> lower um, power devices, you connect to a Type-C dock. Higher power and performance devices, you generally connect to a Thunderbolt. So that's that's a key thing to note is it's, even at the same connection, doesn't mean that everything's gonna connect and work across. <coughs> However, I know the uh, 7370 high-end um, Dell, uh, Dell Ultrabook it is. So I'm just gonna connect, connect the dock up, get a light to show that it's connected. And what's gonna happen is there you've got, got both monitors okay so the thunderbolt software that installs and it's how you manage and use the dock the extra usb type c connection i mentioned on the back you can actually use that to daisy chain other devices into that with a, a usb type c cable which can then take advantage of, of the technology inside the dock okay so what i'm going to just do at the minute is look at the graphics properties because that doesn't look my screen my top screen what you can see of it doesn't uh <coughs> Doesn't look like it's uh, <clears throat> the full picture quality, but one second. Oh, yes, yeah, so it's 256 by 1440 and 60 hertz. I think it's just because I've uh, gone from looking at a small screen to a, such a big screen. Okay, so at the minute that dock is driving 256 by 1440. Uh, it's because it's in extended desktop, desktop uh, it's in duplicated desktop mode. Okay, so it's going to limit the graphics and what it can see because obviously it's duplicating what's on this screen and this isn't a, a 2k screen <clears throat> but if i shut the lid in theory that's better there we go <laughs> i don't know if you can see it very well because you only see the bottom of my screen but the resolution's jumped up now so it's just a, just how it was set up so again the test i did before was sticking my little dongle from my keyboard with trackpad to so put that in there Turn it on and straight away I've got full control, okay? And then the same with my hard drive, just connect the hard drive up. USB 2, USB 3 doesn't matter. And this is the beauty of what I love about USB Type-C. There's no more of that, have I got it the right way, wiggling it around and wearing out the connectors. None of that is straight in. So now it's going to detect and spin up the hard drive. Again in a second, and all this time it's connecting to the hard drive, bringing it up. It is charging the device. So eight minutes till fully charged from a ninety-five percent battery as it is now. So again, look, you know, I've got you know my saved data on my uh, my hard drive. Just brought that brought that up. So um. Is there really anything else to demonstrate? Obviously, your network cable would just go in if you wanted hardware networking. Um, but I think the great thing about this dock is the ability to, uh, just like US, well, using the USB Type C, send everything over the one connection. And with this being Thunderbolt, you know, it can drive a lot more larger files being transferred over. And it can support two 2K or 4K screens. So I hope that kind of explains where the Thunderbolt dock sits, where it fits. Um, high performance, high throughput of a wired dock. So you need to make sure you've got technology that can obviously drive that performance. You know, as I mentioned, precision workstations, mobile ones, um, XPS 15, things like the Latitude 12, the Latitude 13, so the uh, 7275 and the uh, 7370. Um, so I hope this was kind of a bit of a of an insight into um, the Thunderbolt dock, where it fits, what it does. Um, look out and make sure that if you buy any devices you want Thunderbolt, that they support Thunderbolt. This is actually called Thunderbolt 3. I should point out, I've been calling it Thunderbolt dock all along. So this is Thunderbolt 3, okay, not version 1 or 2. This is the latest uh, latest Thunderbolt docking technology. So I hope you found my um, review of use. If you've got any questions, feedback, um, just feel free to contact me.